Hey guys, I just wanted to take a moment here to show you guys what I'm working on. It's the 2018-19 season tour, not really necessarily the actual golfers. Uh, I'm using the 2000s uh, all-star set that come with the game History Maker Golf. I want to show you guys real quick something really fun that I had coming up. It was actually uh, in my FedEx leaderboard, which I have here, uh, courtesy of one of the Play Community users. Uh, I want to show you real quick here, uh, Podrick Harrington is just phenomenal in this playthrough. Now, if you know his card, he has a 2B, I believe, tournament rating, which doesn't mean he's going to be uh, the best golfer. It does usually mean that he's going to be playing uh, in most uh, events and even make the cut line, right? But also probably in that B to B plus ratio kind of uh, time frame, but not this good. Check this out. He is currently sitting at a pet FedEx points of a perfect 1,500 through three events, three wins, and then, of course, the prize money of $3.4 million already. The next closest person is Phil Mickelson, who has 435. Guys, he's three times the value of them. Now, I want to show you something that actually occurred here that propelled him to there, okay? So if I look over here in our Excel location here for our Safeway Open, which is the first one, he shot three shots better than Lee Westwood here in this lovely Safeway Open over at Napa Valley course, okay? So Phil Mickelson tied for second, really good. Of course, Tiger Woods is in there. Um, but the usual suspects, Jeff Maggart, not so much a usual suspect uh, in that top 10 finish. So good for him. Really cool to see him. Uh, Hunter Mahan, um, a lot of these guys, on the, if you see how they had last round here on that today, shot very poorly. That three over par, three over par, uh, three over par uh, did not do very well. That was the second tournament of the day. So um, I want to remove this one here. So that was, the sec that was the first tournament of this one here for us. And we don't need to save this guy here for us. Um, Let's go look over at, um, not the Bob Hope, not just yet. We're going to look over at the CMB Classic over at the KL uh, Golf and Country Club, where Padraig Harrington shot a one under and won it against Vijay Singh, who shot a five under par, a fantastic round. Now, Vijay Singh is doing great, but look at Bob Tway, another golfer who is a 5C, so a 5C tournament rating. It was placed third next to Tiger Woods. Really cool to see that come to uh, fruition uh, here, um, especially since he shot very well on the final round, um, having shot two under par, but just couldn't really keep up with them. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is, uh, oh gosh, where was he? Um, Alex, uh, is it uh, Chechka? I think his name is Chechka. Um, the German here for us. He's a four over par. He did very poorly um, and shot that 198, four, uh, 14 under par, uh, but really pushed him f himself way down. But let's go back to Padraig Harrington. I don't want to ramble here, and I do apologize if I come off as rambling here. The last tournament I just played in was the Bob Hope Classic. Now, this is important. I want to show you this here. So, Padraig Harrington uh, shot his score, he did, at 24 under par with Lauren Roberts. If you guys can see that here, 24 under par right there. Okay, so at 24 under par, you're wondering how both of them have that. Well, they actually went into a playoff, okay? So if you look here at this little final score sheet here for us, um, Lauren Roberts was the uh, last pairing. He went in uh, shooting uh, one behind Ernie Els, who kind of just fell off at the end there, didn't do too poorly. If you look down here at the, the sixth pairing, the final pairing, now, Lauren Roberts did fantastic yet that day, okay? He shot a three under par and uh, didn't do badly at all until if you guys can look down here at this little section right here where my cursor is at, you'll see that he shot a, a bogey on the 17th, right? Picked up a chip, a red, or not, he didn't pick up a chip here. Um, and Padre Carrington was already in. So he was in the round, at, you know, in the clubhouse at 18 um, at what was he at? 24 under par. So he was already there um, after bogeying the last hole. So all he had to do, Lauren Roberts, is just basically, you know, finish his round. 
So he gets there, right? So he goes to 17, bogeys, puts himself back down to a nice, comfortable, was it 25 under par, going to the fourth hole of the par four, a number 18, which is, I believe, not a very hard hole. It's a normal hole. Here's the deal. He gets up and gets a clutch putt for um, birdie, I believe it was. Yeah, birdie. He misses that. So, of course, he gets a red chip. Guys, gets a red chip on the 18th hole. He pars the hole because, of course, he has a gimme putt. But because he has a red chip, he automatically adds another stroke as like a meltdown shot. So you add on a whole stroke as if he had that. And that put him at a 24 under par, tying him with Podrick Harrington. Insane. Now, here's the deal. On that same hole, Ernie Els bogeyed. If he had just parred it, he would have also gone into the playoff. It was a one-hole playoff that Podrick Harrington won, which then, of course, propelled him to going to 25 under par, which, of course, allowed him to win, which was a pretty cool way of saying, essentially, he was the champion um, for that whole time. So going back to our FedEx leaderboard here, I wanted to show you that is what's going on in this replay. Now, will Padraig Harrington continue his masterful run? Probably not so much, as currently he is um, about seven strokes off the lead um, at the AT&T Byron Nelson over at the Lone Star um, Golf Club. But we will see what happens, guys. I want to take a, a tiny second here to show off this really great leaderboard and uh, all the stats and data that we have here for us, right? All this cool information that pulls and collects and goes right into our leaderboard here. And of course, as I can show you here, my super uh, long <laughs> PGA schedule I have here. Um, right now, I'm currently at the AT&T Byron Nelson, which is going to be a $7.5 million purse. So it's a great opportunity for somebody to try to see if they can sneak ahead and get a uh, catch up or get a leg onto Podrick Harrington's infamous run here because if I have any idea he is the frontline head uh, winner right now for the possible first major which is the uh, the masters which comes up in about one two three and four tournaments away and then once we do the masters uh, we go into our I like to call it our our beautiful America the beautiful uh, three golf course uh, three golf courses and then we will play the Players uh, Club, the Players Championship. Um, after that, we hit a couple of the fun uh, WGCs, which are exciting. But then after that, we go into our, I like to call it, our European Open uh, section, where we play only the UK golf courses. So it's kind of cool, prepares us for our, um, our second to last major, um, which of course would be the, the Open Championship, I believe. I'm not really sure, but then it's the PGA Championship right after that. I, add, I plan to buy another course pack to toss into here um, to kind of add to this and then pick the actual golf course. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I want to hear from you one thing here, guys. In the comment section down below, please put in on all of your replays, have you seen anything like this with Podrick Harrington right here? Three wins, or three tournaments, three wins. Throw it down below. I want to see your guys' results and how you guys play with it and how you've done to try and see how that works out. But in the end, guys, I'll try to see if I can do another video or two just to kind of throw up some uh, really cool stats that are happening along this really great tournament uh, schedule. Talk to you guys later. See you around.